Jenny Lynn and this is my channel and today's episode is all about snow.
going to hit you with some amazing fun facts about snow. So snow isn't actually white, it is translucent, but because of the way the light reflects off of it, it actually makes it appear white. And snow actually is really good at absorbing sound. So if you go out into the snow, you will notice that everything has a very quiet and a more hushed feeling. And the Scots have 421 terms related to snow, such as skelf, and that means large snowflake. And the word spitters, and that means small drops of driving snow. And lastly, Japanese macaque monkeys have been observed making snowballs and actually playing with them. So us humans, we're not the only ones that enjoy a wonderful snowball fight. So stay toasty, my friends, and keep on watching. to show you how I make hot chocolate from scratch. You only need a few ingredients. It's actually really, really easy to make. So you need milk, you need water, you need sugar, you need baking cocoa, vanilla extract, a dash of salt, and then you'll garnish it at the very end with whatever it is that you absolutely love on or in your cocoa. To get started, you need to put the water, the sugar, and the baking cocoa in a hot pan. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Okay, so we're gonna get our sugar and our baking cocoa. We're gonna put that into the pan. And a dash of salt. And what we're gonna do, of course it's not working. There we go, we got one that works. Okay, um, and then we're gonna combine everything. Just kinda sorta Mix it together a little bit with a whisk just to kind of get it together. And then we're going to put in our water. We're going to pour it in here. And then we need to turn this on hot because we're going to boil this. And we have to actually stir and cook it for approximately two minutes. I'm gonna kind of try and get it all 
put together. And just kind of babysit it a little bit. Um, I'm trying to kind of break up I might need a smaller whisk to get in the corners. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I think this will be fine. But yeah, we're going to make sure that this cooks so everything mixes together. It looks really, really good just right now. Now, my mom used to make cocoa very much like this for us kids when we were you know out sledding and we'd get really tired and cold and we'd come in and she'd have hot cocoa that she made for us all and uh, she always told the kids that it was scratch cocoa right and they're like well, what is that and she's like well if you drink it, it means you'll start itching everywhere so she she really liked to play tricks on the neighborhood kids and then we were like no you won't really start scratching and then she would explain you know kind of how she made her cocoa so that was always really fun but yeah my mom would cook hers on a, an Amish wood cook stove so it was it was pretty special the way the way she made hers this was actually boiling pretty darn good I think I'm gonna probably close to two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the heat way, way down because then we're gonna add the milk. I gotta be really, really careful because this is like really big and I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. But you don't you don't necessarily want to boil the milk, so you kind of got to reduce the heat down. So I'm kind of lifting it up so it cools a little bit. You want it to be warm, so you, you do want to cook it because the, the milk is cold. So you're just going to get it to where it's warm enough to serve. You don't really need to, don't really want to boil the milk. And then I'm going to stir. And at the very end, we're just going to make sure this is warm enough. But at the very end, what we're going to do is we're going to whisk in the vanilla. So that's your very last thing that you do. Oh, that looks really, really good. So now I got my little, little vanilla. Oh yeah, of course. Brand new, so I actually have to take off the little seal. <laughs> Of course, I end up opening something on camera that I have a heck of a time with. It's always the way. Watch Jenny struggle to open stuff. So then this is just a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, like so. And you can whisk this in. And this recipe is probably going to make about enough for, I would say, two people. So if you, you know, want to make bigger batches, you know, just double everything. A lot of stirring. Ooh, a lot of stirring. <laughs> and of course, another fun thing too is like if you don't drink milk, if you're, I'm lactose intolerant, so I actually have to go take one of my little medicines before I even drink this, but you can use almond milk, you can use lactose-free milk, I mean, whatever it is that you like. Some people like to use like a heavier cream or like a half and half, so there's a lot of different, different ways that you can go about making this. And some people, I, I was reading online that they don't put vanilla in theirs. They might put like an almond extract or a peppermint extract or something a little different like that. So you can kind of customize it however you like. We are good. So I'm going to take the heat off. I'm going to take one of my little Andes mints and I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to put it in the bottom of the cup. And then I'll put the hot cocoa on top of it. Mm. 
make sure you leave a little bit of space so you can actually fit your marshmallows on top. They make marshmallows of all sizes, but like these are fairly little. So if you leave enough space, you can actually load it up pretty good. See? Oh gosh, I dropped one. So there you go. Isn't that awesome? But now you actually have to taste it. Oh yeah, man. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. Really, really good. But I also, I need to actually put this up to a taste test. All right, give this a try. Tell me, tell me, be honest. Tell me what you think. Oh, wow. Good? That's really great. Can you taste the, the mint in it? Mm -hmm. I didn't stir it up, so as you drink it, you'll get down to the bottom and it'll get more intense, I think, with the... That's some of the best cocoa I've ever had. Really? Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't taste like powdered junk. <laughs> tastes, tastes real. Tastes real. Yay! Kenny approved. How many how many stars would you give it? Uh, I would give it five paper airplanes. Five paper airplanes, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it tasted really good too. It came out great. You wanna do cheers, cheers. man? Cheers. Mmm. Oh. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys like on your cocoa, in your cocoa. Do you make special cocoa? Do you even like cocoa? We love cocoa. So, what do you think? You think they should keep, <laughs> you think they should keep on watching? Don't, 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 don't. Keep on watching. <laughs>can't feel my fingers anymore so I'm gonna wrap this up thank you so much for watching please like share comment subscribe hit that notification bell and check out all of my links down below and I will see you in the next one bye